Hey YouTube, welcome back for the overview of build day number five of the 1964 Ford Galaxy Tiny Lund NASCAR build. So taking a look here, went through and got a lot of stuff into paint. So we'll start up here with the body, we'll check out what it looks like now. So this is round two of the primer. Let's get that back. And as you can probably see, once my camera focuses, there we go, it looks a lot better. Got rid of a lot of that seam line right through there. I think that'll finally do it. And then looking up here, though, did have a couple of things pop up. So when uh, sanding off a uh, when sanded off a mold line right through here, went to rescribe. As you can see, slipped one time, which is all it takes to create a little tiny gouge. So. That'll be easy. Just throw a little filler in there. I'll get that sanded down and into primer for the third time. Um, taking a look here, it actually is a little bit more visible to the camera than it is uh, to the naked eye. But as you can see, it didn't really get a lot of it polished up really well through here. So I'm going to probably go back through the grits. Uh, really make sure to polish it up. This side is really noticeable that I didn't get it polished up. Um, this one's visible to the eye. So... Uh, again, I'll just kind of sand that back, get that smoothed out, uh, polish that plastic up, and then this side actually should be all good to go. Get that to refocus in here. There we go. So this side, once I get this front end uh, kind of repolished up and reprimed, this side is good to go. Everything looks great there. A uh, little tiny spot, just having to notice right there, that I'll take a look at and get uh, corrected. Sorry, the uh, swivel base just fell off this, but looking definitely a lot better. Looking a lot more like a NASCAR, especially getting everything primed up. So looking forward to that. Also, went ahead and I'll grab the bottom here of the chassis. As you can see, the uh, fill in really worked well on this side. I got a lot of that sanded off. Uh, there's a couple of little tiny spots, though. I'll get that to focus in. That will just need a second round of filler, you can see. There at the front, right about dead center of your screen, and then there as well. This side definitely needs a little bit more work. Um, as you can see, I went ahead and just wanted to throw primer down before I fully finished it because I, I just felt like this side needed more filler, but I wasn't sure where. So sometimes that's always a, that's, that's a good plan, just to go ahead, throw some more uh, primer down, just to see where it is that you need to sand out and get it all fixed up. So... Um, but as you can see, this side, sorry, I didn't mean to move so fast there. This side's looking a whole lot better, looking really good on this side. So really proud of this one. The other side is going to need a little bit of work. Um, I did find there was some striational markings, uh, or some vertical lines, like right through here. It looked like some tooling marks that just didn't get out of the mold. Um, so that's going to need to be taken care of. Um, and then, uh, the blocks here on the back. I'm actually debating of taking them off. I know that there is a, um, in the instructions, there is a rear, um, right there, the rear axle housing brace that should go in place there. However, with just kind of how poor the detail is here on the bottom, I'm thinking about just going ahead and snapping those off, sanding it down and, or sanding it back a little bit and just not even messing with them, um, or messing with it. Um, the underside is, you know, I, I know I've mentioned it and it's probably getting annoying, but it's definitely the downside to this, this particular kit, uh, in my, in my eyes. Um, I don't build too many, uh, cars that are the, um, what you classify as, um, curbside kits. So, but, um, I did go ahead and get a couple of the, uh, tow hooks here on the front that was custom made. Got the holes drilled in that and got those painted in. I think they'll, they'll, they'll do the part. Again, they were missing out of the original kit and had to basically try to build them out of the very vague instructions that were given. So outside of that and moving on, I went ahead and got the roll cage painted up in the gloss black. Um, now, I did this after the gray, so it did kind of retain a little bit of the flatness of the gray, which actually I like. I like the fact that it 
It did because I was able to come in and just do a couple of light coats on the pads and then really focus the spray onto the metal to get more of the glossiness out of it. And I, and I was really happy with how that turned out. Um, originally, I was going to come back in with the... Um, with a different color for the uh, padding up through here, over here, and around the driver's area. But to be honest, I'm happy enough with the way that this turned out. It, it really just kind of fits the part. Um, maybe a couple of areas of the padding have become a little bit too glossy, but it's going to be buried up underneath the, the roof of the car, so you're not going to see it. Um, so that's set aside. Now, granted, uh, it, it's pretty much dry to the touch now. There is a little tiny bit that's down here that didn't get painted, but that's going to be hidden by the driver's seat. You're never going to see it. And if if I do get to a point where I see it, I'll just go ahead and just uh, tone it in. Speaking of the seat, went ahead and got that painted up in that gloss black as well. I went ahead and actually... Uh, did a different coat. I went ahead and uh, refilled my cup, which uh, got a little bit of a thinner mix, so it created a little bit more of a shiny gloss black, as well as I got the main engine block painted in that gloss. Oops, in that gloss. Come on. Really? Okay. Well, let's try it now. I apologize. My camera is just not wanting to cooperate. There we go. Finally. Um, so as you can see, I got the uh, main block all put together and that painted up. I got a couple of areas here on the two doors painted up into that gloss black as well. That's all good. And then I went ahead and got the, uh, the back side of the tires finished sanding up, getting rid of most of the ejector pins, uh, trying to get rid of all of those, which finally was able to do that to my satisfaction at least and then here on the spindle you can see I have uh, some popsicle sticks these are basically the rims I just went ahead and did them in a primer just to see how it looked so again moving along really nicely I'm happy with the way this body is turning out and look forward to seeing it uh, with the with a gloss black on it as a base coat for the main color which will be an off-white i'll probably be painting at first a flat white and then uh, come in with a thinner coat of gloss white adding a tiny little bit of either buff or uh, something uh, similar to that to give it more of that kind of creamy color that uh, the car actually was in real life um, hoping to be able to do that and not lose too much of the, the glossiness. Um, then we'll probably be moving on to decals here probably within the next week or so. So hope you guys have been enjoying this series. I've really been enjoying this build and, uh, hope you're able to check out some of my live videos. Um, again, post down below if you even, uh, want me to continue those. Uh, I don't mind doing them during the live builds, but if it's, uh, something that's not really interesting or uh if you don't really see the point to it definitely let me know um i try to show you know the best that i can during the live builds what i'm doing so that's that's the reason why i've been doing that but if you'd rather just have the reviews like this i'm fine with that too so hope you guys have a good rest of your week and um basically to finish out today i'm just going to go through throw just a tiny bit of green putty into a few areas uh, and let that set to the side to dry. So again, have a wonderful rest of your week and hope to see you next time. See you later.